everyone welcome back to another video and i haven't done one of these videos in a while where i go out and try a different cuisine that i've never had before i did try a lot of cuisines when i was in the uk we got to try various cuisines like vietnamese korean polish german and so on and if you like to watch them you can go in my youtube and check out the playlist there and you can find the videos so one of the cuisines that i haven't gotten the chance to try it and I really want to is Sri Lankan cuisine. I don't really know much about Sri Lankan cuisine. I do know they use a lot of coconuts and they like spicy food. That's as much as I know and today we are gonna try some Sri Lankan food. Now you might be wondering where I can get Sri Lankan food in Dhaka. Well there is a place in Chef's Table Taste of Lanka. I've always seen it. I don't know why I've never tried it yet. I don't know. So today we're gonna change that and try food from Taste of Lanka. So let's go try some Sri Lankan food. Hold up guys, before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys my new March design. The link is gonna be in the description box below and don't forget to check it out. And here is a little video. Hey guys, I'm back with my new design and this design is all about my love for sushi. And we have this beautiful graphical design on the back with lots of cute sushi puns along with lots of cute sushis. We have this beautiful logo on the front which says sushi love and this time I'm also bringing matching masks with my t-shirts which are adjustable and it says sushi time. So we have two amazing colors of this design, aqua blue and wasabi green. And of course, the quality is 100% premium, the style is oversized drop shoulder t-shirts and again they are limited quantity so make sure to grab it before it runs out. Hope you guys love this design. bubble drink from Chate and we ordered the brown sugar boba just so you know this is my new march and this is what it looks like on a male body we have the sushi love right here we've got the cute puns with the cute sushi stuff on the back we got a matching mask as well the link is gonna be in the description box below. Very limited quantity. Make sure to order yours. So I have my brown sugar boba right here, and I'm gonna start the day with this. I forgot to modify my sugar levels. It's a little little sweet but not bad okay time to get real I've never had Sri Lankan food before and I don't know how authentic they are if they are so I don't know how to judge if it's authentic or not but I do know that one of the most prominent things in Sri Lankan cuisine is coconut they use coconut oil coconut milk they use a lot of different spices and herbs and one of the staple things is steamed rice along with different meat or fish curries and some kind of lentils and vegetable and, and as for spice, I've heard it's really spicy. That's just Google talking through me. And I, again, I don't know how authentic taste of Lanka is going to be, but let's see. If you're Sri Lankan or you know what Sri Lankan food tastes like, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you try taste of Lanka, do also let me know what you thought of it. Just another reminder, my new designs are up and live in my March page, so make sure to check it out and grab them before they run out. So we've got our order right here this is the first dish this is the roti trio we have a thin roti type situation going on with eggs in between it's basically like a porotta with deem we have some pickled um, onions here because i tasted it i know it's pickled then you get to choose between beef or chicken curry we have aubergine or brinjal here begun and we have lentils dal the next dish that we have is very popular in Sri Lanka and it technically means a lump of rice. It's lump rice. So we have the rice here. It comes with the meat curry, potatoes, 
brinjal, we have double fried egg, tuna cutlets or tuna balls and sambal. Plum rice has been modified throughout the throughout time and everyone has a different version of it but they did keep the sides quite um, authentic and people are staring. But yeah, usually the lump rice, the rice is steamed, wrapped up in banana leaves so that the smell of banana leaf is infused with the rice. I'm not sure if they did it here, but they did keep, keep the components accurate. So we're just gonna taste them. I wanted to get hopper, which is a very popular Sri Lankan dish, but they weren't doing it today, so maybe next time. So let's start with the roti trio. So I'm just gonna have it on its own. Order with deep. Kind of reminds me of Moglai, but Moglai is deep fried, whereas this is just Porter with deep. Familiar taste. Let's try the meat curry. So the meat is like super tender. It just fell off as I grabbed it. And it kind of tastes similar to our curries. Yeah, I've had this curry before. I don't want it to taste anything too Sri Lankan y. I think it's just how they made it. Like how Taste of Lanka made it. Let's try the brinjal next. Lightly pickled, and I really like the flavor. Nicely fried, slightly pickled, I dig. Lastly, the dal. They used a lot of spice spices, I think. Pachpuron used for some like monochula. Doesn't taste particularly Sri Lankan. This roti trio does not taste Sri Lankan. It tastes good. It tastes more like something we cook. It tastes Bengali. So I like the dish, but it's not Sri Lanka, I think. A little underwhelmed. I haven't tasted coconut yet. Let's move on to the lump rice. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells of ghee and black pepper and clove. Yeah. Tastes really nice and it smells nice. Fragrant rice. Fragrant is very fragrant. I want to try the potatoes first. I'm going to try the potatoes first. Again, it looks like a lot of patch for on here. <laughs> Potatoes. Mm. A very soft boiled potatoes with nice spices. Nothing to complain about it, but potatoes. Next, I'm gonna have the tuna cutlet. I'm gonna just break it apart to show you. kebab with tuna you get that chili like the regular spices that we use when you when we make kebabs so it tastes like a tuna kebab it's very nice i really like it i love tuna itself so i like it but i'm still not getting sri lankan vibes you feel me everything tastes very familiar it could be because we do have similar dishes and similar spices it could be one of the reasons why everything tastes similar but I'm, I was expecting a bit more coconut infused curries, to be fair. And I was dreading having the curries because I've heard Sri Lankan curries are very, very spicy, but these were just regular. Let's try the rice with the sambal. I like the sambal, it, it is a little spicy. It has a little spice to the rice. It goes really well with the rice. Let's try the meat. The chicken tastes like your regular chicken curry at home. It tastes good, but I didn't come here to have this. Don't get me wrong, everything I've had tastes great, but these are flavors I've had before. Like it's not anything new. And the chicken here, it's a bit more spicier than the one we tried for the roti one, and it tastes better than that, but it's still, it could be called our chicken jal fry. So the brinjal looks like the same we've had before, so I'm not gonna try that again. And deem to deem. So, yeah. Overall, not a very new experience. I'm not gonna call it a bad experience because I'm gonna finish my food because it does taste good and I'm hungry. But this wasn't me trying authentic Sri Lankan food. I do know they have a restaurant somewhere that's just them. Maybe they serve different food. I don't know. If you had taste of Lanka before, do let me know what your experience was like and if there is any more Sri Lankan places that I should try in Dhaka, do let me know. I really want to try Sri Lankan cuisine. So after that very not new experience, a little sad, so we are here at Tapak which recently 
opened up in Chef's Table and I'm gonna have some coffee and the cheesecake. Their sandwiches are really tempting me but I'm too full to have the sandwich because I did finish my food because it did taste good but it just wasn't Sri Lankan. You know what I mean? So we have our cappuccino, cheesecake, cappuccino. I'm really digging their mugs, man. It's so pretty. So nice. Generally, I'm a North End girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like tabak and I'm really enjoying I'm always bhula jai from camera camera koi tha So this is the cheesecake, it tastes nice So we have come towards the end of this video I'm done with my coffee and cake and it has cheered me up And so I, the initial plan of this video was me trying authentic Sri Lankan food from Taste of Lanka But sadly, it tasted very familiar, it tasted like something that we can confidently call Bangladeshi cuisine. It didn't really feel like something that I'm trying for the first time. It didn't feel like Sri Lankan cuisine, but I still look forward to trying authentic Sri Lankan cuisine someday. Maybe I'll go to Sri Lanka to try. Maybe you guys would like to watch that vlog. Anyway, if you have any suggestions on which cuisine I should try next, where I should go next, do let me know in the comment section below. And again, make sure to buy that margin while it lasts. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!